Hey everybody, welcome to another It's Time to Go. We are two weeks into October, which means that we are two weeks into the story of uh, Moses and two weeks into talking about transitions and change and how God is present in our lives uh, as we go through transitions and uh, change, which I think happens for all of us throughout life. Yeah, and so we're at the part of the story. We've kind of fast forwarded. Last week we heard about Moses being called to uh, go to Pharaoh and say, let God's people go. And so now they get away uh, and then they come to the Red Sea and they feel like they're trapped and they're in a little bit of a deep, deep sea. That's right. There's water on one side and the Egyptian army on the other. What are they going to do? Well, as every Sunday school student knows, Moses parts the Red Sea and the people, God's people walk through uh, and then they get to the other side and the waters come crashing back down around them, which is uh, really kind of a great scenario because there's, there's no turning back. Uh, they have to journey forward. Um, as a student of history, there's this great story that I like um, as the Spanish are exploring the New World. Uh, Cortez gets to this, this New World, uh, the, the ships land, he gets everybody off the boats and he orders the boats to be burned uh, because he wants all of his men to know that there is no returning, there's no going back, they're going to journey forward into this New World. Uh, and likewise with God's people, there, there's no going back, they cannot return to Egypt they have to go forward to the promised land. You know, in this unit, we're thinking about transition and change. And what this might say to us today is that we might like to go back to the way things were. They're more comfortable. Uh, we might have felt pretty okay with the way things were. Uh, but God tells us there's no turning back. And actually, God is leading us into a future that's much better, where injustice doesn't win and hate doesn't win, but love wins. And we get to move forward into that future, as scary as it might be, uh, remembering that God is with us. It's a great story. Um, we hope you hear more of it this week, and we hope you continue to, to tune in for the rest of the story as Moses leads God's people to the promised land. But for now, I think it's time to go. It is time to go.